Ladies and gentlemen, it's Friday night, we're in Telford, and this is the first semi-final of the Johnson's Paint Players' Championship. Two of the season's outstanding performers going toe-to-toe -to -toe for a place in Sunday's showpiece final. A world-class weekend of live sport starts right here, right now, at the always atmospheric International Centre. <laughs> Please welcome a player of immense tenacity on and off the table. Multiple winner. He's on the verge of a third major final of the season after a brilliant victory over Judd Trump. He'll be pumped up for this tonight. He always is. Please welcome the captain, Ali Carter. And his opponent, a player also at the peak of his powers. He won his second Champ of Champs in November, scorched to the shootout title in December. Ten ranking titles so far in an illustrious, decorated career. He's the pride of Northern Ireland. Here comes Mark the Pistol Allen. Normally, at this stage, we have our Ali opinions. Choice, I think this is one of the toughest semi-finals to call. I can recall in quite some time. You can make a, a very cogent case out for both players. Thank you. The first frame. Yeah, completely agree, Mark Phil. Allen, Should be a cracker. Well, having wonderful seasons, playing some great snooker along the way. And I'm sure tonight will be no different. Let's hope so. <laughs> Possibility of a red down this right hand side. wasn't easy and well he's left chance here for Mark Allen I was hoping to cover this red but he hasn't done nice it's a easy starter I thought the way he played against yeah. Mark Williams for Mark Allen the way he played in that Mark Williams match his last match wasn't so impressive, wasn't free scoring as he would have liked, but against Mark Williams, the way he started off, barrage of breaks, so impressive. Cue ball, it's pristine. Yes, he's played two very different matches and come through both on the right side. And that's basically Mark Allen all over. He can win both ways. Heavy scoring or when he needs to tighten up, he can do that as well. Yeah, but I thought he certainly adopted a bit more sort of measured game. Not as fast and Sort of furious as he Eight. might have once was, but he's certainly reaping the benefits of it. Plays a very calculated, even when he's breaking. He might see this now, and this might be a little example. He's not going to go into the pack here. He'll pick off the loose reds and then take a better chance. And that's what he he's adopted his game over the last, well, probably a couple of seasons now. 13. But very, very effective. Four. 
14. As Ken said, top of the Mark Allen wish list would be to duplicate the start he made against Mark Williams. 146, 112, 102, 3 0 with a trio of centuries. Well, he's got to go into the pack at some stage, maybe. If he gets a nice angle, next colour should possibly be the black. So just cut his attention on the queue, maybe. The particles there, he's just taking off, just was annoying him. Mm. Well, I don't think he's got the nice angle on the black, so once again, he's only got one more chance now of this last loose red. No other reds available in the pack. And that's the problem. When you leave it to the last one, you don't always get the desired angle on your next colour. He's only hit that cue ball. He's struggling a little bit here now. It's a good shot here to recover. Get a nice angle on one, one of these colours. Pot's good. The cue ball. That's pretty good. He'll settle for that. That's a good recovery. And now he's got a wonderful angle. He's got to go into that first red. The apex red of the pack. Full ball. Has moved. 33. Yeah, that was like the, the splits in the old days when the balls were much heavier. It was a, a meaty contact, but not a robust split at all. circumstances he could come down off the blue for the open red but it won't pass the pink into top left yeah there's always been the idea then you know when you go into the, the pack with no other loose reds available things can go wrong you're not always guaranteed to be on a red whereas when there's a few looser reds available and you've got the angle on black or blue or whatever colour it may be, it's good to take the opportunity to go into the pack because if nothing comes out, you've still got those loose reds that you're possibly on now. It doesn't really have anything to go on here. No angle on the blue, no angle on the yellow. Can't play the green, it'd be hampered. Shot time. Well over a minute now. Nothing he can do here, really. He might even play safe. Or just pot the yellow and play safe. One or the other. No. Mark yeah, nothing he could do I'm there. So disappointing end to what was a good chance for now. And with a 34-point advantage... Knocking the yellow safe might, down the line, be of use. Well, he's had a look at this plant. Two reds in a line, but will it go by the other red? Didn't play it. But he's played a good return of safety. The cue ball is a good line. Very, very good line. Excellent shot.
That's what you don't want to do with that shot. If he'd missed the reds completely, OK, it would have been penalty points away, but no damage done. Hitting them thick, that could be really expensive. One. Yeah, and I just wonder how important that, well, that yellow, putting it safe, not taking it on, might be the pivotal ball down the road a little bit, but concentrate on well, tidying up these reds with colours. 28 point deficit. Six. Seven. He's too straight on this blue. Little grimace. Molly Carter. Looks like he is a bit straight. Resigned to being at middle distance. Twelve. Thirteen. Going into his match against Judd Trump in the previous round, he had a winning record 80. in their head to heads, Dick Carter. The same thing applies here. He always backs himself, doesn't he, Ken? He always yeah. believes he can do things. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's very important, actually, for any sports man or woman to have that belief in their confidence. <laughs> Separates. The best from the rest, there's no doubt about that. You have to have a certain amount of cockiness and confidence to succeed in any sport. But it has to be in a good way, nice. of course. You have to channel it in a good way. I think he's, he does that well, Ali Carter. I think one thing that has been very noticeable, Phil, over the last year, 18 months for Ali Carter is his temperament. 26. Sometimes he gets very annoyed or used to, and it may affect him. He's not sure where he's on this red. Cue ball has travelled just a little bit further than he would have liked. And usually first impressions are the, the right ones. And when he saw the cue ball come to rest, he turned away in disgust. Well, he's looking at a plant. These two reds. There's a bit of a gap in between them, so... It's not guaranteed, this. And they're not actually in line. He has to make it. No. Alakasa, Where is it going to finish? Yeah, 26 points from there. He'll be disappointed. So that shot to nothing, Alan near the top of the tree. And when it comes to rolling in behind colours, he's ace. Back on one. It might seem the simplest of 
tusks, Ken, but on the superfine match cloths to get in behind the ball killers on a regular basis like he does is a skill in itself. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not as easy as it looks. He's just left the possible two cushion escape here for Ali. Got it too full, but when well, he's left the red, two reds. But it could have been a lot easier. Yeah, and that particular shot, Mark Allen, I know he's dropped up behind the brown, but maybe a few seasons ago, he would have taken that brown on into the right centre. Doesn't take the many chances as he once did. That's what we've talked about, how he's changed his game. Become a little bit more measured, a little bit more concentration into the safety part of the game. We've become a different animal over the last 18 months. It's that though, so chance for Ali again. This afternoon we saw a barrage of breaks, but the opening frame was disjointed. Same here. Just getting settled down and... Carter wastes an opportunity. Not a golden opportunity, but a chance nevertheless. Yeah, not a red you would have expected Mark Allen to miss from that distance. No, just got to be careful with the left middle pocket here if he's going to use the cushion. One. Didn't use the cushion and well, subsequently he's lost the cue ball. Could have played two cushions when potting that red now. Ali Carter, not even contemplating rolling up behind the yellow. He's taken the blue on. Very positive. Excellent shot. Well played. Six. Well, he's coming around to have a look, see if this black pots into this right corner pocket. It must be pretty tight with that red just above it. Mm. I'm quite sure it does. Well, he's played Seven. for it, so it must do. But it's very, very tight. Yeah, just about. But this requires excellent queuing. I was like, so still on the shot here. Oh, it was tough. It was tough. And he had to play it with pace seven. as well. It could cost him. And after this miss black, the irony is that the yellow, intentionally put safe by Mark Allen, has now become his own problem. One. Well, this would be an interesting shot. He's got the angle to disturb the pink and the red, but is he going to 
I'll just pot the black and maybe lay a snooker. Red behind the pink. No, he's tried to dislodge it. Oh, I just missed it. Yeah, see the problem? I'm missing the plant now. Eight. I'll play a delicate little shot here behind the black. Yeah, he's played it well. Good shot there. Mark on an eight. Mark Allen. Lots Four. could have happened there. The one thing few would have expected, no contact at all. Back. Well, this is a surprise because Sure, Ali's going to hit the red here. Mark Allen may not get a chance of a pot. Mark? He's hoping he will do, but it's quite possible he may not. He may fluke it, and he may not get another shot. One. He puts his hands up, but I think that was a, the wrong decision for Mark Allen. He had that red. Given Mark Allen's, I'm astonished. Just another example, isn't it, Phil? I mean, not many in the game would have refused that red. It wasn't a difficult snoop. Now, this is a key shot. Try and get that cue ball up behind that yellow. Doesn't look good. It may go in the pocket. It's going towards the pocket. Well, on the card to one. Wow. <laughs> Mark on six. An opening frame full of incident. Pivoting one way than the other. Well, he had such margin for error there, Ali Carter. Fuming with himself. Well, nice chance for Mark Allen. Try and hide this cue ball behind the black. Yeah. That's no good. And the yellow, well, may be able to pot this yellow here. Not quite sure where he'll take it on, but it's a chance he's going to get. Another refusal that's backfired. this well played it with a lot of right hand side he checked it off this top cushion just to avoid the pink and landed beautifully on the green just needs the green yeah lovely shot that was a wonderful yellow from Mark Allen poor shot from Ali Carter has to be said didn't take the pot on The brown will stop Ali Carter coming back to the table. Nine. So it's been a scrappy opener, Phil. Not the best, not what we expected, but Mark Allen will be delighted to get off the mark first. Yeah, not Fourteen. how, how many.
Sorry, it wasn't exactly the Friday night highlight. I'm sure it will improve. Alan draws first blood. Welcome back Thank to you. the Johnston's Paint the Players Championship. It's the first semi-final and the first frame is in the books. It wasn't a classic, but Mark Allen delighted to tuck it under the belt. And I'll tell you what, Carter will not be delighted with that break-off. way away from that opening gambit and he's left the red into this yellow pocket for Carter one the last thing you want to do when you've just pinched a frame like Mark Allen has would have hurt Ali Carter losing that opening frame the last thing you want to do is give him a chance to recuperate and get rid of it from his mind. Is give him an easy chance like this. Four. Let's have a quick look at the pink. There's a pot into this bottom right corner pocket. The black certainly is tied up for the moment. Well, let's have a look at this pink. The pink, well, there you see it, it won't go into the, this corner pocket. So he'll have to concentrate. Well, he could play, he could pot the second red, play a little cannon on the red just to the right of it, hold for the pink into the opposite middle. No, looks like he's going back for the blue. Five. Ten. Eleven. Ali Carter and indeed Mark Selby in the second semi-final tomorrow night. Representing England, of course, and it's been a wonderful season for English players on tour. Winning no less than ten of the thirteen ranking events so far contested. One win each for Wales, 16. China, and of course, thanks to Mark Allen at the shootout for Northern Ireland. Seventeen. Yeah, it was a good shot to play on that red because it gave him the angle to knock the red away from the black, but he hasn't held the cue ball well here. A little bit lower on this black. He would have liked. Oh, he's played it well. Excellent shot, that. Disturbed a few 24. more reds, and he's on this red into the right corner, so excellent chance now for Ali Carter. Point five. And Mark Allen knows from bitter personal experience about the scoring power of Carter. At this year's Masters, Carter beat him 6-3, made three centuries. Yeah, he's such a lovely cueist, isn't he? And he just times the ball so nicely. He's got wonderful cue power when he when it's required, but it's just it's how you can see at the back arm there is just lovely and perpendicular to the cue. 
40. When he queues up, I mean, watch it. If he only plays like a few feathers and then delivers the cue nice and straight. 41. Most important thing, it keeps the head nice and straight and still as well. On the follow through, very, very important. 48. Wonderful technique. Forty-nine. Let's keep the key shot. Pots this gets on pink or black here. And I played it nicely. 55. Yeah, that could be the key shot in this frame. This black will put him 62. Still 75 remaining, so he's going to need one more red and colour. Could avoid it. Man, that's a 62. mistake. I'm not quite sure where he can cut this red in. That is a mistake. Should have played for that red. Didn't want to play the red below the black, but should have. Is there a red in the middle of the bunch here? Available. Is he on a red in the middle? He was having a look, but oh, it's very, very tight. Very risky. Desperate to continue the break, but in the end, realising. Best not to. Good sense prevail there. Alicata, 62. Shake it ahead from Ali. He'd be disappointed he didn't win the frame from there. But he's played a good shot. Knocking that red up towards the green pocket. Well, it just makes this safety escape for Mark Allen just a little bit more difficult now. Hey, look at it. Playing this right hand side cushion past the right middle pocket. And laying on the red that's actually in bulk. And that's what's going through his mind at the moment. Tried to play the two cushion shot and try and kick the red back up towards this bunch, but it's gone wrong. No chance for Ali Carter once again. One. The blue will do. It's frame ball. If, or should we say, when this goes in. Alan will need a snooker. Oh, 
Just having a look at these two reds as the blue goes in. 68 ahead. 67 remaining. These two reds, well, Six. just having a look at the plant, and there you see it. Perfect. Nice line. Shouldn't be a problem. Well played. Seven. Fourteen. I'd be surprised if Alan came back. Alicata, fourteen under frame. Indeed, the nod of concession. A much cleaner frame, the second, than the first. They've been shared. One-one. The Telford International Centre is the new home Thank of you. the Players' Championship. We're the down to the frame. final four Mark now. Alan to break. I think all matches from here on in will be extremely tough to call. And most, if not all, will be very tight, including this one. The only large disparity in their head-to-head -head stats is in best of 11s. Mark Allen leads 4-1. That, of course, is the distance this evening. It's a really small sample size, Ken, I know, but from what I've seen in the first two frames, I think Carter looks the more confident, the more bullish. He's certainly been the more aggressive, there's no doubt about that. And I suppose that's a sign of how he's feeling, how confident he is. <laughs> nice safety shot, tied to that ball cushion. A little short. And he's left a possible pot for Mark Allen. We always got to be aware when your opponent gets his hand on the table. But a real test there, this one. Going to play it and try and scroll back towards one of those ball colours, but well, this requires excellent queuing. Long way away, long way away. And he's left it. There was a precursor of this right at the start of the second frame. Carter's break didn't work out the break off. Allen missed a red by some distance as he did there. And of course, all One. of these Signs, all of these indications are being picked up by Carter and bolstering his confidence because he realizes that maybe his opponent isn't queuing as sweetly as he would like. Six. From a purely financial standpoint, this match is massive for Carter. He's currently eighth in the provisional rankings. Only the top eight at the end of this tournament go to 
the Riyadh season world masters in Saudi Arabia. If he wins tonight, you can start thinking about making a trip over there. Well, he's come down this left-hand side of the table, see what's available for him into this bottom right corner pocket. Not straightforward, this. He's trying to put the cue ball in an area. 14. Yeah, let's have a look. Has he gone too far? Oh, maybe he's on that red, just below the black spot. Might be just enough of a gap. It's very tight. He wasn't playing on that red. He was playing on the red that's closest to the right corner pocket. Has he got enough of it? Maybe not. Doesn't like it. It's very close. It's a 14. Not the first bold plant. He's misjudged. Now, what an opportunity for Allen, whose trademark is cue ball control. It was the, the positive choice from Ali Carter, but it could cost him plenty. One. Well, should cost him plenty. Seven. Yeah, I think he was so aggrieved that he wasn't on that red. The one he intended to play on into this right corner pocket. He sort of pushed the boat out a little bit. Well, wasn't Eight. far away that plant. Well, given Mark Allen now the initiative. This will help matters taking this red away. 14. Now, does he play for black? Doesn't have to play for black. He could play. Go back up for blue and then come back down for that red that's on the black spot. That's the problem here. That red on the black spot. He'd love to get rid of that in a few shots time. So he could play on the black or he can play maybe for blue or pink here. Like it is. 15. Oh, but I don't think the angle is very favourable. We needed a bit more of an angle on the black. It's got to force this now. as best as he could do now this is very important the referee get this black as close to the spot as possible mark believes that the red will still be potable into this left corner pocket yeah i think he's Thanks okay he's judged that well Twenty-three. 
Jellicott back on track. 30. Thirty-one. Yeah, no shots that he's so good at. He's got that short backswing. Certainly came into play there. Now into the pack, still be on this red. Well, I say still be on this red. He didn't get into the pack where he would have liked. Thirty. Does this red pass? No, it doesn't. So is Mark going to attempt a risky plant? It's gone wrong, that little split. Now watch where he hits the, the pack of reds. Really needed to hit that red full ball. The one he just hit on the right-hand side. This would be risky. But it's certainly on. Oh, well played. Great shot. It was risky, but it could prove very, very fruitful. It's tough enough to pot when there's just two involved. When there's three, then the goes through the roof. Not out of the woods yet, though. Pressure shot coming up. Forty-six. Now, Alan really should regain the lead. Yes, Phil, and how ironic a missed plant it was from 52. Ali Carter to let Mark Allen in, but it was that wonderful plant from Mark Allen to keep this break going. 53. Shouldn't be a problem now. 39 points to lead. 44 after this, but the way the Reds are situated should be a formality. Good break, this. Sixty-four. Sixty-five. Seventy two. Seventy three. This is just the kind of quality visit required. This gets the, the Q arm lubricated, the, the confidence levels soaring again. Eighty. H1. Bang on course for his fourth century Eight. of the tournament. And what would be his 35th this season? Nice. Recently went over the 600 mark, Ken, in professional competition. He can knock them in. Yeah. 
He's such a prolific scorer, Mark Allen. Nine seven. A wonderful touch. It was a shot in the middle of this break where he was a beautiful touch to hold it. Hold the cue ball for the next red off the black. And then, of course, that lovely death plant. There's the century. The crowd do love a century. The crowds have been fantastic here this week. Might see a little exhibition shot on the black. Here we go. Four cushions. This must be pretty close. Oh. The story here, Ali Carter needs to weed out a few mistakes. But after that plant in mid-break, everything in the garden is rosy for Alan. In Telford, where this Players' Championship has been Thank an you. unqualified success. Three and four. Ali Carter to break. It's been full house Friday here, and the second semi-final tomorrow night, the final on Sunday, sold out. Once again, just one little thing I noticed, Phil, on the break-off. Very, very hard for both players to hide this red on the right-hand side and the red on the left-hand side when they break off. Once again, Ali McAllen, a long way away from the long pot. Just beautiful queuing, top quality, straight as a die, heart to the pocket, nice noise off the letter. Once again, black tied up, a bit of work to do for Ali Carter. Alan McManus was highlighting the fact that the blue that Carter knocked into Get over the line against Judd Trump was a wonderful piece of queuing. And we saw something similar there. When you're technically happy, it's a really good base to build on. Three. A sentiment echoed by Mark Selby last night. Yeah, couldn't agree more. I think when you're, you feel like you're queuing nice and straight, you, you don't mind taking those reds on. You're very confident. Whereas Mark Allen, on the other Four. hand, doesn't look as confident as Ali Carter on those longer shots. He, he's been, he's missed them by quite some distance. He's only two from five, Mark Allen, so far. In close. Well, he's exemplary, but... A few long pots have, have let him down so far this Seven. evening. Eight. Fourteen. Fourteen. On several occasions this evening, Cart has been either short of ideal on the blue or just about got there he was taking no chances with that one
Well, this is unusual. He's, he's taken the yellow here, but the blue looks okay too. A bit more work to do with the yellow. Screwing down up this right-hand side cushion. Yeah, the blue looked so much easier for me there. Didn't have to use the rest. Didn't have to use so much power. And have a look at where the yellow has landed and what it's done. This was such a more difficult shot. Another long part, Phil. Yeah, you made a really good point, Ken. He looks tentative from distance. Normally pretty good from the long pots, but just once again, long way away. When you're dealing in fractions, that's worrying signs. You'll have to try and sort that out if you can. The mid-session into. a good red to play for because he's got a lovely angle now six pot this red and just brush the red left of the black away open up the black into both corner pockets seven no. it's not too bad it could have been better he's got a playing into a, a blind pocket now onto that red cue ball just a little bit straighter on this black there you see you can't see the angle of the pocket no problem Fourteen. the cue ball somehow barged its way through the bunch a little more than he thought it would And having badly missed the yellow using the rest, he's got the implements out again. Fifteen. Yeah, play that nicely. Delicate little touch. It's a strange one, really. He's fighting to get back onto level terms at the interval, and yet for me, he's been the better player. Or well, certainly, he's looked as though he's got more belief. Fifteen. 
Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. There's a nice little shot there, just brushing through the reds. Nicely on black or yellow here. Fifty-one ahead still. Just glancing at the score. Still sixty-seven remaining. So he needs. He takes the yellow. Gonna need red and a colour. No problem. Nice little bit of side, right-hand side on the cue ball there, just to widen the angle off the cushion. Thirty-nine. This 40. match has certainly, after a slow start, has certainly kicked into gear and come alive. Another wonderful opportunity as the ball goes in to we'll have back to back centuries. And this is what we're expecting from these two great players. 48. Mark Allen, though, something. Well, he has to work on at the mid-session interval. He'll be on the practice table, playing a few long shots, no doubt, because that's been his, well, his Achilles heel in this little mini-session. Normally so proficient on the 56. long balls, but tonight, well, it's been deficient. Yeah, Ken spot on. Not just missing them, missing them by a distance. 63. 64. We're not inside players' 71. heads, of course, but... I get the impression, even though it's parity at the interval, 72. Carter will be feeling the better of the two, the more optimistic of the two. 72. But we all know that Mark Allen can 79. turn on the Jets and play brilliantly. H1. Yeah, this has been a wonderful H4. break. It really is. He's had to work hard through the middle of it just to develop the... 88. The reds and the cue ball to make this century possible. And he's done it well with great aplomb. Made it look easy. 93. Good stuff. Both have been guilty of mistakes. Both have engaged in excellence. And consequently, a two-all scoreline at the mid-session interval is a very fair reflection of the exchanges thus far. It's set up beautifully for after the break and the second half of this best of 11 frame contest. Two of the biggest talents this season. It couldn't be closer. Welcome them back into the arena. One of them's going to the final. It's Mark Allen and Ali Carter. Yes, as Rob says, one of them will be in the final, but uh, it might be a while until we find out who. We've had an exchange of century breaks before the interval. Just over an hour's playing time. Can either one of them pull away or 
Is it going to be close all night? It does have the feel of being a match that could go the distance, this. Thank you. Three and five. Mark Allen to break. Yeah, going by the first session, I don't, I don't see anything from either player that tells me that one could go on a, a burst of winning two, three, even four frames in a row. So, yeah, it's, it's almost as if I just put the score to 5-5 five, five now and we'll just play the decider. <coughs> kind of threw himself a little bit at this long pot. Ali Carter. This is about One. the two you'd like to have the beginning of a frame. So, or more loose reds, black in the open. Very nice situation for Mark Allen in this fifth frame. Well, a week ago he was in the quarterfinals of the Welsh Open. He lost to John Higgins. He was pretty scathing about how he played in that tournament, but been much happier with how it's gone Six. here this week. Of course, he made those three centuries in a row against Mark Williams. Although... Uh, Match took a while to be closed out. Seven. Victory here this evening would secure his tour championship spot for sure. Tenth on that list at the moment. Top 12 get in. If he wins the match, he'll be in. And of course, he'll also be in the final with a chance to win a third trophy of the season. He's going to be a little bit wary. If he catches the red beside the one he's going to pot here to the left corner, he will may sneak towards that left middle pocket. No, he's able to avoid it, so there's no problem. 23. There's been this sort of situation this week where he has been scoring heavily. When he's been in first, the ball's in a decent situation. I think the the scrappy frames have come when he hasn't been able to kill it off in one visit. Then he, he kind of goes into shutdown mode in terms 20. of get the frames won. No, I mean, it was a slight stretch, but still Hi, a surprising miss. 28. So just as he got himself into a good position in this frame, he breaks down. Yeah, it's a sort of miss that if you're Ali Carter, you'd just love to One. see. You've got to take advantage. Try and heap more misery on your opponent.
the Masters he beat Four. Judd Trump in the quarters. He beat Mark Allen in the semis, of course, he's already done for Trump in the previous round here. No Ronnie O'Sullivan waiting in the final this time. Five. Been playing really well, actually, all season, but, of course, the one thing that's missing in the campaign is silverware. Seven. Seems he can get through the gap is. Would have held his hand up. Yeah, I'm not sure why players Eight. do that, actually, because the idea of going at the reds and splitting them up is to be on one. If he wasn't on a red, he'd have thought himself very, very unlucky. So... It's just me, but I wouldn't be saying sorry there. What he has done is get himself an excellent opportunity to win this frame. 15. Sixteen. Yeah, Ali Carter was runner-up in this place championship last year, ran into a really informed Sean Murphy, but of course he just won the German Masters, so it was a golden spell. It got him back in the top 16, and he's carried on that work this season. He's actually number eight in the official rankings, so he's come back really from a bit of obscurity. Once you drop out that top 16, you end up in qualifiers, you sort of fall off the radar a little bit if you're not careful. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. It's always an encouraging sign when player just gets on with it, which he has done here, 39. not prevaricating too much. Forty. What he is doing here by being at the table is just keeping the memory of that miss firmly in Mark Allen's mind. Make no mistake, that's all Mark Allen is thinking about. 40. Sat in his chair. These should have been my points. 
Mm. That has not worked out as he would have liked. 54. That's red is very, very difficult. Alicata, 54. Yeah, so I'm not there yet. 26 the lead. Three reds still on. You can see the annoyance. He was left with this. In a way, though, it sort of sums the match up to the extent that you know, neither can quite get away from the other. That was a chance to cleanly punish Mark Allen's own miss. It didn't quite happen. Yeah, a bit of a trudge back to his seat. He left a chance for Alan. Frame that he was looking really good to win here, Ali Carter. Eight. Nine. Seventeen. Yes, and if Ali Carter managed to win the frame when he was in, twenty-four, he would have kept the memory of that shock and miss in Mark Allen's mind. But a chance to erase that memory for good for Mark Allen here. Such a psychological sport snooker it really is at this level. 26. Sort of negatives and positives that go through your mind in any single frame really tests your temperament. 29. Well, it looks like for the third time tonight, Alan will be a frame in front. After all, well, that wasn't clean. Third, My third. word. Well, even plain and simple, he butchered that shot, but he got away with it. That was a that was a twitchy one. Thank you. He just got down and knocked the blue in, though. He didn't sort of. Get on his own case about it. It's just hard to see this match being oh, won with a runaway. Three. That frame could have gone either way. It's gone to Mark Allen, so he's back in front at 3-2. 
Take your seats quickly, please. Yeah, if you'd like come as uh, who weren't in for the post-interval frame, just sitting down to enjoy the rest of the evening. Nicely timed. The backswing was a nice pace. The Brown in the previous frame, the backswing was so short and fast. He's actually, when he won the frame, he walked back to his chair shaking his head because he knew he'd got away with one. But that long pot was beautifully cued. Table it gives him the choice of Six. two reds either corner. Seven. See the black reds either side of it, which is stopping it 12. being potted. So, an angle in the blue, and I would say probably bring the cue ball down the right side of the table for a choice of two reds to the left corner. 30. Just overhead it slightly. Don't think you'll see him go into the pink to open the reds up because I think that would tie the black up even more. Mark Allen, 18. Well, it's a different sort of shot, but it's similar to the opening frame after the interval where he was in and just missed unexpectedly, nearly double kissed it in actually but leaves it invitingly for Carter. One. Yeah, the, the night's kind of been littered, hasn't it, so far with unforced errors. Just Eight. when you think the player's really in, in stroke and going to win the frame in, in that one visit, something happens. And we told us at the beginning about Mark Allen about working on something new technically. And the only problem with that when you're playing at this level is if, if you start to miss a couple, then you start to question what you're doing. And then you think, shall I revert 16. to what I know or shall I stay with a new method? 17. And then instead of it just becoming natural, you start to think of things on the shot, technical things. And that is no good. Twenty four. Doesn't know a hundred percent where the cue ball's going in up here. Make sure, at the very least, you're playing the next shot. Make sure you pot the red. Twenty-four. 
25. Yeah, he's, he's furious. Because it was a simple shot from black to red that he got wrong. It's the simple things that's tripping up Ali Carter tonight, not the difficult stuff. Yeah, this one. Yeah, the shot itself is no fun, but it's also the disappointment of the break having come to an end. Like it. Yellow. Now, obviously, yellow, you can yeah. see the black full, so he could only have two attempts at hitting a bulk colour here. He's nominated yellow. He has hit it. <laughs> but as he left the long one, that's the concern. And of course, he's also opened all the reds now. He's a big shot, that, and he hasn't got it. Still a, it's still a stretch, even with the long stuff. He's so far away. Ball. Well, any more on this queue will be playing this from outside. Salmon, it was that long. <coughs> Has to win the frame at this visit, Ali Carter, for me. Six. Yeah, it's criminal if he doesn't. Because look at the way the reds are situated. Seven. Thirteen. 
Fourteen. Twenty. So again. In initially, Mr. Red to this corner had another 20. chance from distance. There was pressure attached. He was always going to be leaving something on if he missed it. And it seems we're going to be bat level again for the third time. 34. I guess the question is can either player just cut out the odd mistake? They can then maybe one of them could pull away, but at the moment it does look like it's blow for blow tonight. That's frame ball. Forty-one. Forty-two. Forty-nine. So, a good 56 from Ali Carter. And once again, Mark Allen's one frame lead is cancelled out. We're all square at 3-3. Three, 3-3 three. Three, three, then, in Thank this you. best of 11 frame, frame encounter, seven. Mark Allen Mark has led by the odd frame three times, and each time Ali Carter has pegged him back. Well, that is not good. That is not good. He's caught the blue full in the face. Left a red on. Carter coming around to see if the black pot's to the left corner. Which it doesn't. The difference he's screwing back, obviously, with the black not going, and he's missed the red.
mark our own one. Well, there has been some good play in this match, but it may in the end come down to who makes the fewer mistakes, because there's been plenty of errors as well. Another unexpected miss from Mark Allen. He just seems to be suffering a little bit. Yeah, Ali Carter's making mistakes as well, but if you look at both players' body language, it's certainly Ali Carter that still looks, to me, the more positive. And Mark Allen's starting to look you know, a bit flushed when his cheeks. One. Like he's under a bit of pressure. It doesn't look happy at all with his game. Yeah, go back to if he is trying new things technically in a match like this. Sorry, the, on the practice hey. that everything's fine, but to try and if you've got problems with it out in the match arena, it can be very tough to get it out of your head. Nine. Yeah, this is the pot success in live play, so this is before snookers are needed, but the balls that, that kind of matter. And Carter, you can see 6% in front, 91 to 85%. 16. Yeah, I'm sure Ali Carter can sense that his opponent is struggling a bit. And sometimes that can put a little, little bit extra pressure on you because you feel you've, you've got to... You should be winning the match if they're struggling. But again, it's just some elementary errors. Both players suffering from them. 24. Yeah, almost too high up the cue ball there. Cue ball arcing round the pack. Wow, well, that has changed the whole frame, hasn't it? What a chance now. Six. But as I say, he's just been making the odd error when he's been in like this. Even that frame he won to go 3-2, he nearly missed Please the brown. Please make sure your phones are on silent. And basically just leave the cue ball where the red is. So when you put in the black, you'll move the red Seven. away from the left of the black. Leave yourself on the other one to left corner. And then the black will be cleared to both corner pockets. Fourteen.
fifteen. Uh, Mark Allen special here. <laughs> it's a shot they so good at. The red directly above the black. Play a little cannon on that one. He's got into the cue ball too much. I mean, that is a, that's a rarity for Mark Allen to get that shot wrong. He prides Point. himself on being able to play those cannons around the pink and black better than anybody. But just caught the red full ball. It's end of break. Incredible. I mean, that's just real. Bread and butter stuff for Mark Allen, that was there. Another opening that didn't lead anywhere. That's Same for Carter to... when he was in. Of course, he missed the Reds. Just one little side issue on this match, Mark Williams. If uh, Mark Allen wins the match and gets to the final, it means Williams will be in the top eight for the new event in Riyadh, which is coming up in a couple of weeks, just over a week actually, where the quarter finalists are guaranteed 50,000. So I'm sure Mark is, uh, well, cheering the other Mark on. Carter wins, it doesn't mean to be out, but it depends then on what happens with Zhang Ander. He can still go past him. that all wrong in, in a way he's been fortunate that he hasn't left Ali Carter this red to the right corner he's got a decent run in the ball Mark Allen two tempters either middle pocket
Yeah. It's not much angle here. Everything is sort of seeming like a struggle, but this is maybe where his natural tenacity will come to the fore. It's something we associate with both players, actually. That competitive way they have about them, even if they're slightly struggling. So now this looks like a decent chance for Mark Allen to take the lead for the fourth time tonight. Again, he didn't quite get as close to the red maybe as he was looking to, but still 30. on it. One of the best shots he's struck in a, in a while. Couldn't have hit that any better. The shake of the head before playing the black was because he'd, he'd left himself with a horrible angle. But rescued the situation. Another shake of the head. He's not enjoying it out there at the moment. Everything's a struggle. Even the easiest of things, or things that normally come easy to him, he's finding a very difficult. Again, wrong angle under black. How many forced the cue ball? Twenty-nine. Thirty. Again, he's completely mishit. That shot, he was playing to go the left side of the red to have it for the right corner. And he's getting the cue ball cleaned. But, well, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt, shall we? It was a kick, but I don't think he hit it very well. Anyway, still got an easy red to the middle. It's all good. 30. Yeah, it's not been a typical Allen break. He's usually so much in control of the cue ball, but if he pots the black, he should be 4-3 up. And sometimes if you are struggling a bit, willpower will get you a long way. He kind of refused to leave the table there without winning the frame, barring snookers, that's what he's done. This red he could do with potting. And surely that is that for frame seven. Yeah, you'd have to give him full marks for effort in this break because it's not been pretty. 53. But he's refused to leave the table until the frame's been won, which 54. is a credit to him. Yes, he's rightly very proud of the way he's really pushed on in his career the last couple of years. Thomas is won, he's up to three in the world, he's challenging at the end of the season for world number one. 61. Matches like this, if you're not at your absolute best, can make a big difference in that, if you can just get over the line somehow. 
He'll have a day off and a come back here on Sunday. May well play a lot better. Seventy-four. Well, history will record it as a frame-winning break. That's all that matters in the end. The balls went in the pockets. That one didn't, but he's won the frame. Mark Allen. With the break. Seventy-three. So for the fourth time tonight, Mark Allen is a single frame in front. It's now 4-3. This has been very closely fought. There's been errors. There's been good stuff as well. In the last frame, Mark Allen really steeled himself to make that 73. And he is 4-3 in front. We wait for him to return. And we wait to see if he can, for the first time, get too clear. Ali Carter just ruin a few missed opportunities. He tried to get into the reds in that last frame. It didn't quite happen. But all that's in the past. He needs to stay positive and look forward to this next frame. Tomorrow night, of course, we have Mark Selby against Zhang Ander. That'll be on ITV3 tomorrow evening. Zhang uh, won that thriller with John Higgins. Of course, Mark Selby last night really turned it on to whitewash Ronnie O'Sullivan 6-0. So will the pattern continue? If it does, it'll be 4-4 in about 20 minutes' Thank time. You. Or can Mark Allen get to within Frame one eight. of victory? Alicata to break. Nice aggressive safety shot there, opening up more reds, decent cue ball. Similar shot for Carter. And the red creeping towards that left corner. Has he got the cover? He hasn't. I think Mark Allen can possibly play for the black here. The red is closest to the left corner. You can use the one to the right of it just to kill the pace. One. Yeah. It goes without saying, I mean, like that cue ball to have gone another two or three inches away from the cushion. Bit of pressure on this. Well, we'll see. It may be that the fact that it ultimately Eight. he didn't falter in that last frame has just allowed him to steady the ship a bit. This is a good chance here already at the start of this next frame. And this red into the left middle to get on the black. If you don't hit this positively, you can quite easily come up short. Nine. He's getting a good run of the ball. The last two or three frames, when things have looked like possibly going wrong, and it's worked out okay. That was not as played. He played to come off two cushions there for the black. You 
you going to say it, Dave, or am I going to say it? 16. Two reds, two black. Right, I've, I've done it. Two reds, two black. Yeah, you've said it now. 70. Of course, he's got the high break, 146. Worth re reiterating, when, whenever we do get the next maximum, it will be the 200th in snooker history. Made a 24. magnificent 147 at the Masters in January. Had to play at least three world class shots to keep it 25. going. In decent position, these reds. And there's been a lot of head shake, isn't there? 32. When he's been in. As I say, that normal, immaculate cue ball control. It's not quite been there. 33. And these top players, are, you're dealing in millimetres of precision in the positional side, side of the game. If you can, you're two millimetres out, you're not happy. Because it just makes the next shot that more difficult to get on perfectly. In the minute, it can't seem to buy two good positional shots in a row. He's got, I think, possible pots on three different reds. He's not nice on any of them. The red three down from the pink is the, is the easiest pot. The one near the left corner pocket is the, the easiest position if he wants to stay on the black. This, I think, is the most difficult part of the three. He's going low in the cue ball, so staying on for the black here. It's not getting any easier, this break. No, he committed to the pot. He's caught that other red, so this is nasty again. Worth saying, when he gets to the crucible, were he to make the maximum there, he would get the, the bonus prize of 147,000. That's in the Triple Crown events. Same for, for Ding as well, if he were to make one there. Anyway, first things first, he needs to pop this black. So, six reds, six blacks. Forty-nine. Just <laughs> off the jaw, but he went in. Remember here at this venue in 2007, Ronnie O'Sullivan made a maximum in the deciding frame of his semi-final against... Mark Selby, Ding Jun Wee's made one here as well against John Higgins in the UK Championship. It's always special, of course, for the players, but also for the audience. If you've never seen one live 56. in the flesh, it would be very special. Fifty-seven. Well, it 
64. I'm sure he's not had as bad a cue ball night for a long time as he has tonight. And I say, he cannot seem to be shots in a row. Really struggling. But, as I said in the previous frame, every credit for effort. He's just refusing to leave the table. This is such a tough pot, a blind pocket. Very good. Very, very good. But the cue ball has caught the red. And, well, I'm sure he won't be taking the black on here. Pink is on to left middle. Still a big shot, this, because the frame's not won yet. Still 75 on. Choosing to put the green safe. committed there, didn't he? As you can see, the cue ball's was going to stay down this end of the table where all the reds are. But had to get that pot. The side cushion, knowing realistically that if he doesn't get it, he's probably going to lose the frame and go 5 3 down. But he has got it. Seven. And he's got a pretty good kiss as well. Such determination being shown by both players here tonight. Another good pot from Ali Carter. So Mark Allen earlier, he pushed that green safe-ish. Not on a cushion, but 14. safer than when it, where it was on its spot. Will that come to its, his rescue here? Twenty-one. Foul. Alicata, twenty-one. Well, eagle-eyed referee Desislava Boshilova called the foul there on the green. Must have just caught it. Four. Yeah, well, you can see it move. It's good refereeing. 
and a big body blow for Ali Carter. Allen needs one red here, needs this in, and it should be 5 3. And there it is. One. That really is a blow for Carter. He was sort of starting to sense blood. I said the green could be significant because it had been pushed safe, but actually, in the end, he fouled it. Ali Carter's very Mark swiftly Allen, put his cue on second. the table Mark and conceded. Allen. So for the first time, Mark Allen does have a two-frame lead, and he's only won from the final. He leads 5-3. So Mark Allen is two clear and one away from the final of the Players' Championship. Thank you. Mark Allen to break. Ali Carter had the chance to clear, but just as we saw, caught the green with his waistcoat. Mark Allen potted the red he needed. Their fourth meeting of the season, Carter's won two of the previous three, including, of course, the semis of the Masters. But now is the time, certainly for him, to cut out all mistakes. Potential long red here. He saw him sort of trying to work out the path of the cue ball there, hoping he would plough through the reds and land on something. Just got that bit of breathing space now. At 5-3. Mark Allen, one. Well, there's definite danger here. Rally Carter, these reds spread far and wide. Cannot afford to leave anything on. Otherwise, that could be it. Well, this red is covered. That's the good news for Carter.
beautiful cue ball, but I think the shake of the head tells you possibly. Well, maybe Mark thinks he's left the red, but he hasn't. Tough position. Ali Carter finds himself not only at this shot, but he knows his next mistake could be his last in this championship. One thing he has done all week, Mark Allen has played some world-class safety shots. And that was one of them there. <coughs> the gap is there to get through to this. That's, that's not really good news if you're forced into going for this. Mark Allen, four. Yeah, just caught the cue. The, the brown with his cue, that was the foul. But <laughs> more concern, of course, is leaving Mark Allen a red. But it's gone wrong immediately. One. Well, you can see the red close to the pocket is covered by the green. This is a very tense passage of play because of where we are now in this match. <coughs> Ali Carter desperately trying to stay in the match. Screwed the white back for safety, but the red has come back as well. Sits down with a bit of a sigh. Another chance for Allen. One. 
So let's see. At the moment, the black is uh, not great. The pink, a bit messed up. Could get back, get it back into play. Got the blue. Plenty of reds to go at. It's been a night for real effort, and neither shy of that. These two, both such determined campaigners. And right now, Alan, he doesn't care about his performance. He just wants to get this last frame on the board and get ready for Sunday's final. Six. Seven. Yeah, excellent cue ball. As I've said, he's not had a good cue ball night tonight. Certainly up against his usual high standards. Man, that was an excellent shot to get right side of the blue. It's not going to be easy to win the frame this visit. He's going to have to have control Four. of the cue ball because he's only got the blue as a high value colour at the moment. I think it's possible to get on. 13. Nice. Let the cue ball run a little bit wild there. Again, six inches, eight inches short, where you want the cue ball to be here. Good for a middle, more angle in this than he wanted. And that's caused him to miss it. Mark Allen. So that's his 18. first real chance to put this match to bed. Gone. Find the gap in the cushion between the pink and the red to the right of the pink with some check side here. Play for the red that's on the pink spot or just to the right of it. Didn't play that little flick, but it's a nice one because it allows him to play for the pink here. Six. Off that red. Didn't play that little flick. Seven. So, well, Alan had 13. a pretty good chance. He didn't go very far. And he can't... Uh, starting to look confident. The first red was well struck, wasn't it? And now he's got 14. pink back into play and definite chance to press on in this frame, try and make this match closer. well as he's played this season and he really has uh, had a consistent campaign of course he wants trophies he's seen him shared around quite a small Thank group you. of players so far of Sullivan Trump Gary Wilson Zhang Ander of course only one of those is still in this tournament 21 
27. Thirty four. Thirty five. Where it just was with the cue ball on that pink, if he was about an inch or two to the left of where he was as we look, he could play a cannon on the two reds to the right of the black. And you just point his cue at the exact angle he wants on the pink. Because this will be the big shot coming up. You can see if it makes a contact on the left hand side red of the two that are together, it's going to push the other one towards the right corner. No, it gets this shot right, it probably wins the frame. Couldn't have played it any better. A little bit unlucky. Because the red is going towards the right corner, he's dead straight. And the one to the left corner is a really awkward angle. Huge shot, this. This could be his last shot in the championship if he misses this. Big pressure. He's a battler, isn't he? He never gives up. He's pulled out some phenomenal clearances and breaks when he's needed to this week. Mm, slight grimace there, you can see it. He knows that's no good. 55. Literally a couple of pots away from securing this frame. Frustrating because he'd done so much of the hard work. But he's going to have to wait for another chance. He's got a 31 point lead, still 43 on. Look out of 55. Good contribution, but not a winning one.
not covered this red, so Ali Carter needs red and reasonable size colour, at least a brown. And Mon Callum would need a snooker, but it starts with potting this. It's not there. Not left it, but that was a chance. Can't really play the left side of this red. Well, if he does, he's got to be very careful he doesn't push it over the green pocket. Or put that red onto the other red and push that towards the green pocket. So it's got to be red could even go close to going in. And yeah, that was a Real situation that Ali Carter was in there. Surprised he played that show, actually. One. Please make sure your phones are on silent. Nice, 30 be behind, so he needs to pot colour. A higher value colour than the green, so it's gotta, he's got to pot this blue. Someone's phone went off when he was actually down in the shot. I'm surprised he didn't get up again. It surely took away some sort of his concentration. Well, what is he playing here? Well, Mark one. Absolutely dumbfounded. Why has he not tried to pot the blue? He needs a snooker now. Beg your pardon. With all the excitement, I've really lost my marbles. It's 35 on the table. Thank you, David. Well, the thing is, you always used to just pot everything rather than play for snookers, so this is alien territory to you. I'm still surprised he didn't go for the blue. Well, B is on the blue now, crunching long red, so it's in his hands. Can take green or brown, actually. Had a think about 
all three colours here. He's prioritised winning, hasn't he, in recent times. If he gets over the line, he'll be delighted to be in another big final. It would be his 19th in a ranking event. Ali Carter can only wait and hope there's a twist in the tail. In a frame that he looked to be in control of. Yeah, it's five. Mark Allen, obviously, the way he played against Mark Williams was phenomenal. It's only the first first session of that match, and he'd been delighted to win in the match that way. But in, in a completely different way, if you can come through a match Seven. when you've not been anywhere near your best, you almost can get as much pleasure from that. He's really had to battle with himself tonight. Done. Yeah, he's become hard to beat, hasn't he? That's the thing. So he needs the last four balls to advance to the title match. 14. Not the cleanest pot there. Yeah, you have to admire his determination just to 19. get this match won. Why is number three in the world? 25. Coming through matches like this. Black for victory. It's a typically steely clearance from Mark Allen. It maybe wasn't the highest quality match, but he battled and battled and he got the result he was looking for. He's beaten Ali Carter by six frames to three. Mark Allen is the first man into the Players' Championship final.